Well, good morning. And you find us out on another, not quite sure whether I'd call it a walk, but certainly an exploration in the Lake District. I've come to a place called Hodge Close, and there's an old quarry uh, here. Um, you can see it, I don't know whether you can see it behind me there. Um, we're up on the top at the moment. Not quite sure what's here, whether there'll be some good images or not, but uh, I'm going to try and get down. I did watch a video last night, because uh, this is somewhere I've never been before. And there's a bit of a clamber down to start off with, and then I think it's reasonably okay. We'll just have to take it steady. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to find. Um, but that's the plan for today, to come here to Hodge Close and, and just have a <coughs> an exploration around see what can find, see if we can come up with any images. Um, yeah, so we'll get on and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we've made it down to the bottom of the quarry that is full of water. Um, it's quite calm as well, so it sh should make, possibly make some good images. Um, we can see across there there's um, some metal work and I've seen pictures taken from there. I'm not quite sure how you get there, Pro probably from um, the other side. Um, if we look round here we can see there is a tunnel there. I have had a look in there. Um, it does go round but then it drops down. There's a ladder to climb down where it just goes into into water so there's no way I'm going down there. So. Um, yeah, it's an interesting place. It's interesting with the reflections here. So, um, before I catch some images, there is a, there's a ladder up there. Uh, you probably can't see it, but there's a ladder up there to some other tunnels. So I'll have a, a look around there, and then I'll come back uh, to capture some images, and then we'll we'll see how we get on. So, yeah, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well, we've climbed up to this um, what looked like a tunnel, and as we look round here, it's quite um, a spacious cavern. I don't know whether you can see very well. I've got my head torch on that's providing the light, but there is signs that there was maybe machinery or building working here. Um, I was wondering if there was another way out through here, and I think there possibly is. Um, if we look down this tunnel there, you can see that there's light at the end. And I did walk quite a way down to see if I could get out, but um, the water was in danger of coming over the top of the well. Is there is another um, slight tunnel there, but I think that just comes out on the same side where I've come in. Um, so it looks as though I'll probably have to go out the way I came in, which I'm not looking forward to going back up the bit, which is almost a sheer drop. It's not very far, but I got down reasonably comfortable. Um, not, just not looking forward to going back up. So, yeah, I'll have a bit more of a mooch round, um, and then we'll look to, to capture some images before we head back out. Right, well we've come up with our first composition. It's, um, I must admit, I'm pinching this from um, ones that have already been done. Um, you can see basically the composition there in the camera. Um, and you've got the, the rocks with the um, reflection in the, um, in the water. So I'm... I'm Recording through the, the stills camera, so I'm just going to flip this round. Um, if I get it right. There we go. So, um, yeah, we'll just, um, just come a bit further away. So, what we'll do, um, we'll put the, the actual um, video from the camera uh, into portrait um, thing because what you've got as we can see you've got this tunnel here 
this amount of rock and these big rocks here and, and here. Now if, if it's on its, if we turn it into the um, portrait position we can see that this and obviously it's reflection there and like two eyes, here's the nose, uh, the chin and those big rocks make the mouth so yeah it's, it's quite impressive um, it's one of those you, you think um, how did somebody spot it so so I think that's going to be the main um, composition here and then I'll, I'll wander around and see if I can come up with some others um, probably won't um, video them but if they're any good I'll put them up on the on the video after this as I will with this one so yeah I think that's quite a good composition I mean I think we've got to make the most of the calm water it's probably calm because we're in a hole so the wind doesn't get in unfortunately we've been in a hole um, the satellite um, doesn't really penetrate so I, I was going to put the drone up but it was saying it was very low um, satellite connection so it would be unstable so yeah i got to make the most of these reflections so I'll take this capture this image and then we'll have a wander around see what we can do then we'll we'll climb back out and see if we can get to the other side um, down to the uh, the metal that I pointed out earlier so anyway we'll see you a bit later Right, we made it up to the back up to the top, although it was a bit, it was much of a struggle. Um, I have got my GPS, but I'm not going to put the route on because I don't recommend that route. I really did. It was hands and knees job to get back up, so I don't recommend that. But I've come back round to uh, come along and come down a path to this tunnel, well, it's, it's more an arch because if we look back the other way I've just come from you can see and the path down there you go past the, the farm and then um, heading up on a path that there's a gap in the fence and, and yeah it's a reasonable path there's no um, no what you'd almost call rock climbing almost needing ropes etc so 
So yeah, we still got the reflections, etc. We can see uh, the bits there. So I'm just going to have um, a mooch around, try and come up with a, a, at least one composition. Um, so yeah, so I'll find the composition and we'll see you a bit later. Right, I heard some voices while I was down here and looking up. Um, I don't know whether it's a school trip or, or what, but there's some people doing some abseiling. Um, I don't know whether you can see on the, in the centre of the, the video there. Uh, there's one guy come down at the bottom and then there's others going to come down one by one. I thought I'd just try and um, capture an uh, image of maybe one of the two of them coming down. And if they're any good, I'll put them up on the video. So we'll see you a bit later. Right, we've come up with a composition and we can see the camera there. Uh, I'm partly using these metal, um, whatever they are, uh, as leading line and looking out onto, the, um, onto the, the water in the bottom of the quarry. So, yeah, it's quite, as you can probably gather from um, just the camera here it's quite a dynamic range so the actual if we look at the back of the camera you'll see f11 100 iso a tenth of a second um but it is actually bracketed so i have bracketed it because uh, there's such a high dyna dynamic range from the sky to the darkness where these metal rails are so yeah hopefully that'll come out and uh, if it's any good we'll put it up on the video uh, i'm just going to wander around and um see if we can come up with any other compositions and if if any of them are any good I'll, I'm not going to video them all but I will put them up on the video after this so right we'll see you a bit later All right, we're back at the top now. So, yeah, we're going to call it a day because uh, I could do to get home and there's some work I could do to get done today. So, yeah, we're heading back to the van. It's been a good morning. Uh, it's about lunchtime now. Uh, somewhere I've never been before. I think I've got uh, certainly one brilliant shot and hopefully some other quite good ones. So, yeah we'll see uh, I'd just like to remind you if you've enjoyed the video please click the thumbs up um, if you like what I'm doing why not subscribe and please comment I do appreciate all comments just to to get to know what people um, are thinking about about the channel so yeah not quite sure what we're going to do next um, 
but it'll be day it'll be a walk or an outing somewhere in um, in the Lake District so yeah we're gonna call it a day I'll see you on the next video